in a dark corner of the world. Three men will work together to bring you a podcast like no other. This is Fanatically Correct, where the fans, the geeks, and the nerds are always correct. With your host, MSK, Yo Peace, and Omega. Yeah, exactly. So we're, we're going to make this an episode already. You're kind of taking over. <laughs> so uh, this is Omega. I'm doing setup. This is Fanatically Correct. I'm my co-host. Yo, peace. Okay, he's with us. And then we have special guests today from Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett. Um, what else we got? Um, Kenobi. Kenobi, of Guardians course. Of the yeah, Volume 3. Yeah, Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah, the Galaxy Volume 3. He's in that as well. All at once. So we got our buddy Rory Ross, what up, a Mandalorian. What up? We got our buddy Steve Constantino, the Gamorrean guard, there musician, is, producer, all that good stuff as well. And of course, our good friend Susanna Malik, our there favorite Jawa. And then we got uh, back here and, you know, hanging out with us, Charles. So he's going to be on the <laughs> mic while Omega's <laughs> setting up. Gosh. So this is going to be the Yo P show for now. And we, we're going to start us off. We're doing the Rory list. All the movies that Rory <laughs> should catch up on. Yes. And and everyone's doing different stuff, so uh, go at it. Yeah, I, I <laughs> well, already, already. I said we're going straight to that. <laughs> right. All right. All right let me Robert, let me start pulling this up. What have you seen? Oh my gosh! Everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. found out a lot of the old school like Godfather. Godfather started, and I hadn't actually finished yet, which is <laughs> so It'll sad. Be a while. But I haven't done good. What it was Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse. Oh yeah, Apocalypse Now. Fitzcarraldo. I don't even know what that is. That None yeah. of us do. <laughs> From Dust to Dawn, we figured out Dust to Dawn the other day that you never seen that either. I think I'd seen, uh, man, Bits and I, I might be getting that. Yeah, I might be getting that confused with another, well, another film. Tarantino, we started with True Romance. We watched the Drexel scene the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, incredible. Yeah, true, yeah. That was a big one. You haven't seen but I, 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 and I need to, honestly, Marty, I need to go ahead and go back to Pulp Fiction because, like, I know I've seen it, but, like, to actually, like, really get into it, uh, because I don't know, so, I don't know a lot of the the lines. So with maybe them. you've seen it, but you don't remember seeing it. That's how we're gonna. Go yeah, with. yeah. Ah, okay. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure if you've seen it, you probably do remember it. Right, right, right. I, it's just I definitely don't know all the lines. Like uh, our our guy over here, Omega. I'm like, oh man, I. Oh well, I mean, that guy is a walking IMDb for real though. So, <laughs> I get shocked sometimes of the things he just comes out of his mouth while we're doing the show. He just out of his, you know, out of the blue. Yeah, he just verbally. By the way. Yeah, <laughs> verbally. Yes. 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 Now, now where do we see the show? The dark web or what? <laughs> well, <laughs> Not a dark web. You can see it fanatically correct. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm like I've trying to watch this list over here. Where's my list? Yo, peace. I've already watched the episode of you guys. Oh, you did which one? Uh, the Nolan. Oh, I, I, okay. Did you watch a YouTube one or you Yeah, to it was on YouTube. So was it with Nolan or with Stephanie Nodani? Was it the three of us? There was three of us. Three of you in the yard. Yeah. Oh, there, was, oh, there, there we go. I was like, where's the, the where's this role? Can I remember the content? No. Here, right? No. <laughs> it's it's okay. I apologize for everything we've done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have the crow. The crow is no. the next on that list. Yo, that peace. I put on you need there. to say yeah. you're welcome. Plane, trains, and <laughs> automobiles. Oh, yeah. Plane, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. I need to put that on there. Bowfinger. Oh, Bowfinger. Bowfinger That's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do Jeez. Ah, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Plane, wait. Plane, so, trains, and automobiles? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anything in the 90s, 80s, and 70s, you he has not don't seen. remember seeing. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to be a lot. I mean, I, yeah. I, well, the funny thing, I've actually seen The Lost Boys, and we were talking about Billy yeah, earlier. Yeah. So, like, I yeah, definitely cool. I definitely remember The Lost Boys, and that was that was a great, great yeah. little film over there with Kiefer Sutherland. Death by Stare. Yeah, it holds up, right? The Corys. Yeah. Yeah, the two Corys. To Corey, yeah, Corey Haim and Feldman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I've seen the Goonies, but no, I wouldn't be opposed to every, you know, Sleeper seeing that again. And Willow. I know a lot of people haven't seen Willow. I've seen Willow. That's Tom yeah. Cruise. Yeah, yeah. Damn yeah. things yeah. that you talked about right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I don't feel as bad. I'm like, hey, all right. So I'm, I'm like a little bit redeemed over here. <laughs> Suzanne, you awake? Are you awake, honey? I'm awake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think oh, I got man. some of that titty milk. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, what's for Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. I've seen that. Forrest Gump. Yeah. What's, what's, what's a movie like? Like you guys, we do this anyways on all our shows. We do something called Nerdcessity, and Nerdcessity is like something you recommend that someone has to watch. So first move your head. Like you're talking to your mm. son now. That you're saying you gotta watch this to have it in your repertoire. You don't pick something that comes along like that. It's possibly Willy Wonka. Oh yeah! Oh, the old school with the the, yeah, the original Heaven's yeah. Gate. The murdering, what you want. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Cimino. Well, p- piggyback off that, uh, what's the other one? Um, 
Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting it? Where he's the sheriff? Uh, oh, Blazing, Blazing Saddles. Saddle, yeah. Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. Well, Gene Wilder's yeah. not the sheriff. Saddles. Where's all oh, the white yeah, girls yeah, yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Robin Hood Men in Tights is uh, fantastic. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's great. That's Rob Reiner. Yeah. He's not that lost. Inconceivable. I'm lost. Inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> still lost. You ever, wait, you ever seen Princess Bride? Princess Bride? No. Wow. Wow. Wait, are you serious? That's I essential. swear to God. Oh, it's just such an amazing, oh, you know, romantic be sort of. I am Diego comedy. Montoya. Yeah, you killed my father. Prepared to die. <laughs> 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 That's a good yeah. Inconceivable. They fight in Corsica, right? Diego. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's such yeah. a good, yeah. such, a good yeah. such a good film. Yeah. And it's is it a two part? I can't remember. It's going to take a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> and what's wrong with Mel Brooks? It's good to be king. Yeah, that's the history of the uh, world, yeah. part one. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I yeah. don't know that one, actually. Yeah, yeah, it I'll starts put that off a caveman, and then it goes, and he goes, I have these 15, and he drops one yeah, of the slabs. He goes, I have these 10 commandments. <laughs> 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 oh, if only the we Spanish knew the rest Inquisition of them, was twisted. Yes. Inquisition. <laughs> when classic. you think of it, life is a piece of shit. <laughs> was the Monty Python meaning of life? Yeah, that you was remember that. That's one. I can't. I can't. Every spoon. You're not a Monty Python. What about the, the, the rabbit? More the, than once. Oh man, I don't remember Check that out. one as much. Is there a movie you could watch more than once? Like um, you had to sit down right now and watch another movie. Well, Willy Wonka I've seen a couple times. Yeah, Willy Wonka. Oh, both, 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 Willy Wonka. I mean, you can. So both. Yes. Speaking of Willy well, Wonka, the original. Did, I like the original. Yeah, they're did those kids. Did deep, those kids Roy, right? I got the did those kids die? Is that what I got the golden ticket. All those kids die. All those kids die. I don't care what they say. That's right. They, oh, with by the, terrorists. Aren't they supposed to be filming a new one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish yeah, yeah. the fuck it's, they would put me on that shit. I'd be in there. I'd be yeah. there Oompa Loompa. Swimming, swimming, you want to be with Hugh Grant? You want to be with Hugh Grant? Oompa Loompa. Oh, and the yeah, forget about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're like, where's Susanna? She's like, oh, she's on lunch break yeah. over here. Chocolate, chocolate going in, chocolate coming yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Well, D. D Broidy, multiplicity, you know, him, like, how many? Michael Keaton? No. Multiplicity. D. Broid, I know. Mm. But D. Broid, they made thousands D. Of Broid? Oh, D. Broid. no, he was the... He's the a little yeah, 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 yeah. I have a D. Broid. Yeah. Oh, but I heard that the oh, that they're making on this is going to be like video. It's not going to be like real people. I'm giving new meaning to the With word the, roided wait, out. Again? Yeah, I, I is that doing CGI? Yeah, I'm hemorrhoided. Oh, uh, what? Because they they did the the uh, in the trailer. I remember they see Hugh Grant at the very end, and he's like dancing around. He's like, "Oh, this is what we gotta do." I was like, yeah. "Why? Why would you have Hugh Grant as an Oompa yeah. Loompa? Like that just seems such a weird." Uh, who 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 in the creative department was like, "Yeah, Oompa Loompa"? Well, well they're trying to get him like, back in Hollywood, yeah. and they said, "Look, you got to be an Oompa Loompa to get back in." Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm thinking for you, we could do a great remake. And that would be Time Bandits. Time Bandits. He plays all the little people parts. Little people, they travel through time. It's a one-man show. Kenny Baker, it's it's genius. I'll do it. Oh, Kenny Baker. I'll buy that for a dollar. Charles, I'm kicking you off. Yeah. Uh, uh Uh-oh. I got a video. But I got my head. There you go. So you can yell from the background. One of the mics will pick you up. So he's in the show now. Yeah. Yay, I'm yeah. up in here. There we go. There we go. Wearing the Star Wars there hat. Go, He's Mike. representing all of us right over here. Ma, I'm yo working piece. here. Oh, King of Comedy. There you go. King of, oh, okay. So your King piece is here. There comedy. we go. Mom, Ma, I'm working here. Yeah, oh, there you go. Here we go. Uh, so oh, a minute, minute work too, right? Over here at the, the AV Club. A- AV, get it right. The not AV. Not, not the VA. VA club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Well, a, why don't we see him? He is. He's on that side there. What do you mean you don't see him? Oh, I'm not. Hey, oh, no, what's the, up? The, the can, those aren't the cameras for the for the video. Those are the cameras for your no, piece. No, no, no. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so the other cameras that are set up there, yeah. you'll be able to see it. You might. So for your piece, you're the star, under. Steven. You're the star. You and Susan. Yeah, you're getting, no, the, you're getting you put, the center of you. You wanted to put me over there to begin yeah. with, though. No, the camera would have gotten I'm you right kidding. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this for, for MSK because when he edits, he's, this is how he sets it up so he can he oh, change and zoom in. The, yeah, yeah, so yeah, as yeah, you're yeah. talking, he'll zoom in on you. And, oh, so then and, I should probably look yeah. this way when so I talk. So speaking of which, for him to do the thing, so fanatically, mm-hmm. for fanatically I'll, correct, I'll down here, you click this down here. Down here, click no. the fanatically or, correct. Or up here. No, he he's never does the up here. He never does the up here. So, and then uh, underneath Rory sad. Ross, you can click his. They'll have his stuff there. Boom. And then yep. MSK might put like a round of you when you talk. He'll probably put like a Mandalorian oh. image or a Stormtrooper oh, okay. image. That's cool. He'll put, maybe he'll cover their faces with <laughs> a Stormtrooper and a Mandalorian. Put, put, put the Iowa City Children's So, same Hospital. thing with Steven. We'll have a Gamorrean guard right there. It wouldn't be a change to an Ewok or a Wookiee. 
a Wookiee. It's an alternate he'll play, universe. He'll put Suzanne as an Ewok while you're a Wookiee. Like, <laughs> you go, That's him we'll when he wakes up. You know, so we'll have his links. Why are you behind me? I don't hey. trust you behind uh, me. He's gonna <laughs> tickle your butt. So she's gonna. So we'll have his oh. link. We'll have his link somewhere around there, so you can click that to check out uh, his Instagram, Gamorian Sound. He'll be on that. The real Rory Ross, and then because this the is Rory audio Ross. for the, the Rory Ross. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, his yeah, handle, yeah, yeah. the Rory Ross, because this is for the audio people. And then one short bitch uh, for <laughs> Susanna Malik. So we'll have her around here. Ooh, and so when you look up so short we, bitch we, in the dictionary, we, we, Susanna's we, face purpose. comes out next that's, to it. That's her handle. That's her that's actual her handle. handle. Yeah. 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 Family yeah. friendly yeah. episode. Yeah. So with one short bitch, and yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have some like Jawas all around. Put my face as a Jawa in one MSK. So that'll be fun. So yeah, we're doing the the Rory list, which is gonna eventually end up coming. The, the Susanna, I'm never gonna watch any of this shit list. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I, I, I don't like, no, care. thank you. One, two, like, I'm uh, good. You one, I like one to, view. just to get a little that's Star Wars. Um, I don't want to get too much because that, that's what you guys talk about all the time. I'm sure, right, right, you know, right. especially your appearances. But just to get it, you know, on our show, just so we can get into it. I think I can easily guess what his uh, favorite movie is gonna be. You guys are a little more difficult because you're not in the movies; you're in the series. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I kind of know yours too because of your backstory. But oh, right. uh, what well, Star Wars, Rory? What is your favorite Star Wars film? Well, yeah. So, I mean, I, I guess in order to answer that, I give yeah. a little backstory. So, I, I grew up in a small town in Iowa. So, a long, long time ago in a Galaxy farm far, Galaxy far away. away. Uh, um, I, I grew up in a farm and we had a lot of exotic animals. And at one point, I got a rare fungus on the back of my head that made it just like straight up like just destroy it and fall apart. And so, I ended up in the hospital. And I was there for about a month. And the first month, first day I was there, my mom brought Star Wars A New Hope. And seeing Luke's journey and him overcoming these insurmountable obstacles gave me the hope that I was going to be okay. And so, yeah, A New Hope has always been something that's been such a, a, a very important part of my life. And Star Wars from that point on resonated with me. And, and, you know, I almost became an engineer or I became an aerospace engineer. So my name is on Mars, on the Mars Curiosity rover. It's pretty cool. Nice. That's yeah. Awesome. Wow. And, uh, and then funny enough, uh, I was talking to somebody else earlier, uh, 2010, 12, somewhere in there. Uh, there was a big, huge exhibit called Where Star Wars Science Meets Imagination. And I have all these photos with Tusken Raiders, Stormtroopers, and Boba Fett. And I was like, get the heck out of here. So it's just a cool thing of the manifestation and, and being where I'm at. But yeah, going with uh, the episodes, uh, definitely A New Hope, Episode 4, and then, you know, Mandalorian. It's uh, pretty freaking cool. Uh, I'm going to bring it over to Steven on that question while I turn the air conditioning. I just realized it's not on. It gets getting <laughs> a little warm with these lights. So, Steven, I can guess, but well, well, maybe it throws for a loop. I have to go to Genesis, uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. It's a very <laughs> Star Wars movie. I know, no, but actually, imagine, okay, explain Imagineering that. Explain used it. a oh, lot. Oh, Charles hooking it up. Our man, Charlie. Imagineering used a lot. You got the AC on? Thank you, Charles. You're the man. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, cool. Imagineering used a lot of the uh, Kubrick. Yeah, with, that is it. true. In that the is galaxy's true. Edge. Yeah. But of course, Jedi kind of put a cap on it. Yeah, it's coming in the mic. Woo! <laughs> MSK okay. gonna love that. Like the fan. They lower the fan. There we go. Yeah. Don't worry, we're good. Sorry, Stephen, cool. keep going. I would say Jedi put a cap on the trilogy, you know, yeah. as far as mm. and very true. And you're the Gamorrean guard, and that, that's that's yeah. You. And I, but I love I love um, the new Mandalorian and all that because there's uh, it's profound as far as all the literature and what they can do yeah. without yeah. scrutiny. Yeah, no, well, very true. You know, very true. And you know, and, and the legend continues, and we'll see and what going. they do with newer movies that they have, you know, planned in the tank and. Uh, how that goes, I'm sure there'll be pots for all of you. Yes, yeah, that'd be yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Empire was great stuff. too. Empire. That's oh, a great yeah, one. Empire, that's yeah, one of yeah. the best sequels. I mean, yeah. argumentatively, yeah, everyone yeah, that says what's one of the movies that the sequel's better than the first, and Empire right. is always yeah. one of those in that yeah. conversation, without a doubt. Absolutely. So Susanna, I who I don't know, have you at least seen the Star Wars movies? <laughs> or you don't want to put your oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, watched, you, that's what she did. Mm -hmm. so, I watched um. When I growing up, the original with Princess Leia and stuff like that. Yeah, so four or five. So A New Hope, Empire Strikes so, Back, and Return of the Jedi. You know, I'm gonna say Mandalorian <laughs> is good. my favorite just because that's where I started with Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but like, if you had to pick a movie. Like any movie? No, no, any of the Star Wars movies. <laughs> Star Wars. We got Willy Wonka, so we know right, movie wise, right, right. which is awesome. It would be, yeah. it would be the first Star Wars. Movie. New Hope, yep. the first one with Princess Leia. Let's go. Movie, which started it all. I mean, you got to give yeah. it credit. Anything that starts. Yeah, the franchise, especially Potter, with all that one. production troubles and everything else they went through to Very even true. make that happen is pretty crazy. And and I agree with you. Like Empire Strikes Back, like it stands really well on its own. And there's so many different elements. We got the Wampas, we got uh, the Tauntauns, which is really interesting. And then you know Lando, Lando yeah. Calrissian. That was like, like one of the first, uh, you know, 
more pivotal characters, I think, during that Lando time period. Lando Calrissian. Yeah, and he was such a cool, suave guy. Billy D. Williams. Yeah, man. And, that, you know, I have to give it up. Billy, if it was for Billy and Corey D., yeah. that would not have been in Jedi. So, yeah, Steve was on a band with Corey. That's and awesome. Yeah. And got that debonair suave. Yeah, yeah. Lando Calrissian. Yeah, look, look at all <laughs> the connections. <laughs> All the look, look, looking forward to eventually uh, seeing the Lando series. They got a Lando comic book now. That's what I do. Like that, they gave each yeah. one of them their comics now too. So Lando's a comic, Leia's a comic, yeah. uh, Vader's a comic, Luke. That's you know a pretty wild thing too. And yeah. Lando's a great character in exploring. They did it in uh, Obi Wan uh, Kenobi, uh, the origin story, which is pretty. I, it get, it's not one of the better ones because it had a lot of problems midway. They changed directors and all that, but right. uh, very interesting film. And, and you're talking about club. Solo. Solo, yeah. The, okay, the, you said sorry. Kenobi. And oh, I, was I, like, Kenobi. I was like, wait oh, a minute, hold on yeah. a second. I said Kenobi. I was like, I have to, you're I have right. to check I mean, you I here for solo, a hot second. Yeah. I was like, I meant Solo, so yeah. Yeah, because Donald, like, Donald, Charles I think they just said. Yeah, he's going to do the series. Yeah, him yeah, and his brother, they're, they're yeah, writing They're going to write it, so we'll see what the take is on that. I'm sure they'll be working with Favreau, so they'll work together. And Glover's really good at you know, sticking to, he has his style mm -hmm. for his stories, yeah. but he's good at like, he do, you know, he does with Spider-Man and things like that. He has a respect to the, you know, to, to the source material. Right. So I'm sure that that should be a fantastic song. I'm going to play with that AC scene again too, because I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing it. Yeah. I hear so it a little bit too. too. It's, yeah, it's I know. It's one or the other. Yeah. So <laughs> fortunate, but it's a little Just warm. So we'll do, we'll turn it, it off be, a little let bit. Let it be. It's let hot. it be. Let, let, it, be. It, be. let it be. But it's also, I mean, kind of uh, going with that too. If you look at, um, why am I, Diego, Yes, and how he Luna's, did with yes. Andor, yeah. Like, I mean, he he Andor, was the like executive fantastic. producer on that, and like Andor. that's been fantastic. And they, you know, they have season two, and really curious to see where that's going. But you've seen Mon Mothma and bringing all this other connective tissue, also with Kenobi. Yeah. Yes, I'm a little bit biased there, but you know, it's still having well, these elements. For like, for me, and uh, then I'll let uh, Yo piece go in. We'll actually take one from the audience, uh, Charles over there. Um, I uh, Rogue One, believe it or not, Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars film of yeah. all time. Of all time is Rogue One. Why Whoa. is that? Yes. Why? What I re what I respect number one, the thing that makes me love it the most is what it does in film story wise, where they did something that you rarely would be able to see. They took the biggest plot hole and mistake from one film, and made it a story, and made it a reason, so it's no longer a plot hole or mistake. Which is, it is so stupid that one tunnel down the middle of this giant construction that destroys planets. If you blast something through there, bam, the whole thing goes by. And what do they write into it? Because the designer did it on purpose. So he can get those schematics through his daughter to the rebellion so they'd have a chance. Right. And that's genius. And then the saddest thing, of course, because it's a prequel and you go into that movie knowing what's going to happen. It's like, well, none of these characters exist in the fallen movies. So either going to destroy their own canon right. or everyone's yeah. going to die. And it's fantastic. And then you get one of the greatest Darth Vader scenes there is. The shout out to a couple. Shout yeah. out to Spencer Wilding. We've had him on the, uh, you know, we're going to have him on the podcast uh, actually pretty soon and we had him out here doing appearances with us um, with Finagley correcting everything. He's fantastic. He does the force oh, choke scene. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Suzanne. Suzanne did an appearance of him. Yeah. yeah, he's like. We're gonna what, put, I'm gonna provide that picture yeah. to MSK so we can put it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna put it up right there. Her was because it's such a damn obviously you have yeah, a Jawa yeah, 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 and Darth yeah. Vader. I it's love, insane. Oh I love that. That's yeah, a great. The, the yeah, it's massive. The size comparison of this. Yeah, so you can show it to that camera issue. right there, and then that show it to and then show it to your piece right there. No, no, I seen. Oh, you seen on Instagram because he follow both of you. Yeah, so no, he's 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 a great chap, but that's crazy. He's not the Darth Vader that's actually doing the corridor scene. Right. And what's fantastic about that corridor scene is they did they did a same thing. Rogue One, they already had the you know everything put before them. They know he moves a lot slower in New Hope. Right. Obviously, as Anakin, when the younger Christian Hades, when they had the you know Return of the Jedi and in Kenobi's show as well, he moves a lot faster. So they found a way to do like an in between. So and and it's just such a dark, menacing scene, and just like, and the pop that they give you with that, and of course you get Young Lei at the end too. But yeah, and I understand that it's hard to pick a movie that's a prequel to many films and a sequel to many and a yeah. franchise. But as a film itself, because that's the other thing too, and that's why I love the series Andor. It's its own style, too. It's not the Star Wars style, but it's telling the Star Wars story. And then we've talked a lot about Andor on, the, on this podcast because that's a hands-down great show. You can take Andor and you can implement that into, like, a rebellion in the, during the Irish, like, uh, uh, rebellions, you know, against the England. Like, like it, it's just about right. rebellion. You know, they're, they're putting right. in the world of Star Wars, but it's a show about rebellion and the cost of rebellion and the sacrifices people have to make. Not, every, not everyone's a hero, 
yeah. in those stories and they, they make the sacrifices for the greater good. And there's a lot of great monologues in that show, like even your soul, like you, yeah. you sacrifice your well-being and goodness in your soul to, to, to get things done for the many. And it's incredible. I and mean, you got a great performance by Skarsgård. You got great performance by Andy Serkis. Like, yes, it's just yeah. they put on a clinic on that show and it's all thanks to Rogue those One. Yeah. So, for, yeah. so for me, it's my favorite Star Wars film is Rogue One because it might be one of my all time favorite films, period. Dang. So it's up there. Well, I mean, it's seeing Cassian too, like understanding how he got to that point of where he is willing to die for a rebellion yes. for this cause and like seeing this in Andor and how it's slowly kind of coming up and, you know, what happened to him as a kid and et cetera. That's pretty cool to see. And then, yeah, Andy Circus. I mean, to finally have him get his moment where he's actually on screen, like we saw him in Black Panther. Yes. But now getting him where he's having this part and then having it where they're building the freaking uh, pieces of the Death Star. They're oh. literally what's going to be killing them in, in Rogue One is just like, oh. Oh, man, it's all the be, feels. It's, it's like you guys wrong. are such nerds. You know? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, we big are. time. Yeah. But you know, like, but you know, we good call. We, yeah. <laughs> we need that. You know what I mean? It's, 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 yeah, honestly, I've got, <laughs> I've gotten the pleasure to spend a lot of time with all, you know, all three of them. Revenge of the nerd. Yeah. So, but it's nice to have that. You know, it's a, it's a great balance. You know, Revenge of the Nerds. There we go. Revenge of the Nerds. That one's up there. Wait, you haven't seen Revenge of the Nerds? On the Rory. It's gonna happen a lot. Caradine, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with the AC for a second. So I'm gonna Charles jump on so you can give his, and then we'll wrap up on your pieces, uh, Star Wars, and then we'll do a little bit more talk before we close it all down. Charles, Charles, uh, thank you Charles. for giving me a platform Charles to talk Xavier. about Star Wars. Okay, well, <laughs> well, let's put it this way: when the first Star Wars came out in the late '70s, I went, I, I went to the theater 11 times to see that movie. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Where? 11 different Where times. I was living in uh, Clearwater, Florida. Do you remember how much the movie theaters were then? Yeah, it was like 350 oh, no. or something like yeah. that. Dang. Matinee, right? You get a matinee. You yeah, watch. always. Well, and, and when Star Wars first came out, wasn't that the first time they were using some of that big Dolby sound? Of, of like course. It, yeah, so, like so the, it was a big deal. Now, yeah. I love the next two, Empire, but I really liked Phantom Menace if you took Jar Jar Bink out. But as a mm. movie... I'm serious. I thought Phantom Menace was killer. And I think that I, I really do wish they gave Darth Maul more yeah. story, you know, because yeah. he yeah. was. So if you like Darth Maul, and especially if you like the Rogue One, the the hallway battle, they actually literally did the same thing with Darth Maul in season seven, uh, the last four episodes. And it's yep. so cool of how it, it literally ties in directly with Revenge of the Sith. It's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and it also brings a little bit of the Mandalorian. So if you, yep. you know, are trying to kind of catch up with that, it's uh so so good but I, I my favorite star wars is the one steve was in yeah, yeah. i have to say that revenge of, oh, revenge of the oh, jedi thank you and that's me sucking up to my it does kind of put a cap on it it does for yeah. that particular of course. yeah so yo peace and revenge of the yeah, Sith. No, too. my 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 favorite my favorite star wars uh Rogue, Rogue One is very close, but it's definitely Empire Strikes Back. Mm, um, nice. It's just, just a great sequel. I mean, there's no there's no denying it. That's probably one of my favorite movies, uh, Star Wars movies uh, of all times. But going back to Rogue One, man, like I, I recently just showed my son a couple of, uh, I want to say like a couple of months ago. He was not emotionally One, prepared. And I got the wrong. Um, I didn't know how dark that movie was oh, no. uh, until he actually watched the movie, and uh, was bawling. He was no. trying to hold his tears back at the end of that movie. I had no idea what to do. I'm standing there like, oh my god, what did I do? I think I scarred him for life. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, this is one thing that will get him into a Star Wars movie in the future. That's all. I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I scarred him for life. Because he did. You scared him. You uh, scared him into it. You yeah. scared him into yeah. it. Right. Yeah. He's His uh, origin story. <laughs> yeah. Liam, Liam was a bit yeah. of a. He's a very uh, hard on his sleeve kid and open book. And you guys get the pleasure. Let's not him, forget yeah, yeah. Spaceballs, by the way. Spaceballs, no, fantastic. Baseball. That's like my Parody, second favorite parody. Star Wars movie. Susanna, have you seen Spaceballs? I know Darth Helm. Have you seen Spaceballs? Something, but let me put it in. Have you seen with Spaceballs? It's a, it John makes Candy, fun of Star Wars. Right? Yeah. John Candy, yeah, he's no. the Wookiee type no. character. Yeah. Okay. And Bill Pullman's like the the he's Luke and Han. Oh, that's right, that's right. Mixed together basically. <laughs> yeah. oh, and funny. then Rick Moranis, of course, you know, he has the the Darth helmet. helmet. The Darth helmet. Yeah. Darth helmet, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's fantastic. You caught you went too fast. This is now with the whole camera. Like <laughs> yeah, you went too right. far forward. They caught their stunt doubles. Like it's you know, one of those like you the know, camera comes in and it hits them or something like that. Yeah, it's it's one of those. And yogurts instead of Yoda. It's uh, Mel Brooks' yogurt. Oh, yeah. 
boy. He's yogurt. He's like the weird, weird Al yeah. film. The Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. May the Schwartz be with you. No, that's a fantastic one, Spaceballs. So, yeah, the Rory list is definitely growing. It's, but you yeah. saw Spaceballs, so you're good on that yeah. one. This is a prerequisite to life. You know yes. <laughs> Spaceballs. He's very, very important. Very. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, the Mel Brooks ones, yeah, we went down that one. So, you got the, the Robin Hood Men and Tights. You got the... Uh, well, Robin Hood Men and Tights. You've seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. And we're going to want to critique later after you watch. Oh, no. Book report. We're going to want to kind of book report. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so on Fanatically Correct, yeah, we are going to do this. Check our accounts most likely on both Letterboxd and uh, TV Time. <laughs> we're going to set up Rory list. So we have the necessity list. I know we have oh, that. Man. And then we have like our ranking list. We're going to actually set up the Rory <laughs> list. And like every time your piece, I'm just care myself, have a movie to add on there. Right, so am I going to have to do a review every time share. I do it? Like exactly. send us you guys. And the Rory like, review. Like, oh, the Rory review. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm no, giving no, you no, gold. Man. So start your own podcast, man. Oh, man. There you go. Start your own podcast. The Rory review. you 20 years old. Today I watched it. I'm like, got to go all the way back. I'm still filming, man. I still have all these other projects I'm doing. The plane ride. Rides, the, the audience you know, is listening. Yes, <laughs> the plane rides, you can go watch a lot of this stuff. And oh, we're not even getting to series. We're just talking about Oh movies. yeah. We get into geez. series. There's so many classic shows yeah, many, yeah. that no one watches anymore. A big favorite of the podcast is uh Quantum Leap. We're big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quantum Leap, yeah. Scott back a fantastic show. That. Very easy, you know, one you know, sing, you know new some one. of them are yeah. the original. The original. Oh, yeah, yeah. The original, yeah. The original the I, new I, one I doesn't saw, exist. Yeah. <laughs> the original saw pieces of but the the new one actually, funny enough, I did a an event in LA, we actually did a, a marketing thing where it was bringing prices back like 1985. And so we had gas at like 85 cents and people were coming in, give them 10 gallons. But for the first few hours, people were like, uh, ah, whatever, this isn't real. Then the word of mouth got out. By then we had like 60 some odd cars coming through. It was just like, oh my gosh. You said 85 cents a gallon. 85 yes. cents a gallon. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, I filled up my Prius. I was like, hey, this is great. I don't care. I'd like to do that now, man, please. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, know, I'm right? there. I know. I was like, man. No, this is fantastic. So yeah, Quantum Leap's a, a series. We'll do a few series. That's Sopranos. Really, Sopranos. Is, you watch Sopranos? Outer Limits. Outer break, Limits. Break, fantastic break anthology. Break though. Yeah. Well, you want to go bag. back. I mean, yeah, break, if you want to go back, yeah, honeymoon class, yeah so Honeymooners. Lucy, oh. Honeymooners. To the yeah, moon, yeah. Alice. Yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> hey, Ralphie boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honey, honeymooners is actually, uh, that's that's a fantastic one. That's what Flintstones is. It's basically oh, yeah. kids, honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fred and Wilma just kind of reverse the roles. But it's the same thing. You know, it's just a big... You know, he's not going to do nothing well, more. I he's love always Lucy. big mouth. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about that. Yeah, 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 on personal note, yeah, I Love Lucy is a must yeah, yeah, to watch yeah. at least a few episodes of that. Get that under your belt because same thing. still watch that now. Oh, no, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, what's, that's how you know those shows are such great oh. writing and, and, and great writing. storytelling writing. because and you can the watch them. And behind the scenes, too. Lucy! Like, uh, what was... Uh, Lucy? Becoming... You got some Spanish. The one that was on Amazon, it was talking about Lucy when they were saying she was a communist or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was like... Whoa, I, I didn't No, but all, all the stuff is wild. The other things that Desi Arnaz did, he was the first person to use multiple camera angles yes. on a TV show. Yes. Um, and then Lucio Ball, you know, he, he basically yeah, saw the that comedy. Was a great team. Yeah, yeah. That was a they great were team. they were fantastic. He saw, he saw like the the the, the um, dollhouse set, so you don't have to move the light. Yeah, and you just go no, and he painted everything oh, wow. in different tones of gray. So yeah. it would look, it would really yeah. pop on, on, on the TV screen since it was black and white, yeah. you know, when you're, at that time, the way it's filmed. Like, no, it's a, that's a fantastic show that definitely puts on a clinic and Honeymooners is one like that. Um, Abbott and Costello. I mean, everyone so, mm. no, everyone knows who's on first. So it's like, Little watch Rascals, it though. Little Actually Rascals. watch it. Yeah. See, watch it. Put that, go on YouTube. Okay. Put that on the list. You can watch that on the car ride uh, back to the resort. You said Abbott, Abbott yeah. and Costello? Yeah, Abbott and Costello. The Jerry who's on Lewis first? movies too. Those are fantastic. He designed the, the video back great. for the yes. camera, you know, so you could watch Jerry it Jerry Lewis, great. Uh, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Uh, one oh, of my yeah, favorites that's, is The Barber. That's the barbershop yeah, that's one. A, that that's one's OG. That's so great storytelling. What was it? What was it? I can't remember back oh, in the day. I used to watch it. It was two females and they used to put Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. Oh, She's a great good. director. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Penny Marshall. Yeah. Penny Marshall. Whatever they used to yes. Yeah. yeah. And she's, and she's a Milwaukee, fantastic director. Milwaukee. Too. They worked at Milwaukee at the beer. Was it a beer? It's not coming out. Yeah. Some type of. What? Yeah. I love that. No, you're going to have to go on YouTube. Uh, oh, wait, that's not on? Marshall Who's on first? Happy days. Oh, you're stalling. You're probably wrong. <laughs> hey, I bet. A, B, B, O, T. But uh, who's on? Just put who's on first. Well, and uh, Married with Children? You guys that was yes, that's actually, yeah. yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. I wonder if it would be on TV love time. Love and marriage, love and marriage. It wouldn't be on there. You're going to have to put that on there. Yeah, we'll text it. Like a horse. Yeah, yeah, carriage, this, I tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other. The love and marriage. marriage. You know what? I don't, I don't, sorry, MSK. You're going to have to edit this. Do me a fair. Lower that AC. It's going to get warm in here quick, man. I don't know. I'm. 
I don't think hey, I'm the forget, only one. Forget no. that. Or is everyone else good? I'm the only one? one. No, you, no. You yeah, yeah, it's getting warm, yeah. Sorry. And it's hot. Yeah, it is. It's it is. Getting... You know what it is? I think that the sun is starting to peep through the so, windows so behind the curtains. The new, is that right? What's the newer series of stuff that you guys watch? Have you guys watched Yellowstone? Uh, I want to get into that. I, I hear that's fantastic. I love Yellowstone. What is her name? Beth? The daughter? Yeah, and I haven't watched that, that but... bitch is crazy. She's British, too. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1923, have you seen any I like the other those. ones? Uh-uh. Well, I just Yellowstone. I mean, they have the who, gets, who gets fucking fucked, right? <laughs> Somebody's oh. raping her and getting fucked. She's getting... And then she was like, is that all, is that all, you, that all got? you got? And wow. he's beating her, and she was like, is that she all you She flipped got? the tables on her. She's crazy. Wow. That's the type of friend that I'd love to have. <laughs> that, that, that's what you're talking <laughs> about. And, uh, and, uh, Red, Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow, yeah. With Jennifer Lawrence. That's what that character does. Oh, my does. God. Yeah, 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 she takes the power away. So you have to see the prequels now. Like, they're just as good. They're going to make prequels Harrison to Red Ford. Sparrow? No. Oh, oh to Yellowstone. Yeah. That's Harrison Ford. Oh, Sam Elliott. Yeah, and Harrison Ford has one, too. No, that's a whole series I want to get into. Westerns have really... Come back in a strong format. Like you have them sprinkled, and you're talking to the Western guys. MSK comes in here. Back to the Future <laughs> Threes is Western. Like you know what I mean? Like that's, that's the name of Western. Where Yo Piece and I have episodes where we do Westerns. We talk about that's the one I told you about. Bone. Uh, um. Uh. Ah. I forgot the name. Wild again. Bunch. No, Bone Solo. When I told you with Kurt Russell, you got to watch. One with the cannibals. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That was yeah. good. But like you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, what is it? One ten to you, Yeah. Well, it's Clint. Fantastic. You got to go to Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. 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 The, the outlaw Joseph. John Wales. Ford. Three yes, a long writer. You got yeah. um, spaghetti westerns. You know, yeah, that's, yeah, right. yeah, that's classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's when you go. Burt, you go. Burt Reynolds. Uh, not Burt Reynolds. Reynolds uh, Charles. Ah, uh, Death Wish. Um, Oh, Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson. Bronson. He had Bronson. westerns. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. But you, you but know, yeah. go back to John Ford and, and yeah. even you know John Wayne. Of course. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. The but that's the thing now is like westerns, and I I love the one that uh, HBO had. Uh, what is it was uh, with um. Uh, Timothy Oliphant. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, Just, Justified. Just, no, that's the that's well, Deadwood. Well, yeah, that's Deadwood. The, uh, but oh, Justified's right, right. kind of a western too. That's yeah. what I like about that modern western thing. Uh, just like the movie Logan. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it's, it's an X Men movie, but it's a west. Like the way it's told is yeah. a western style. But all the western shows that started coming out, Halloween Wheels, um, fantastic. Yeah, Shoot, even <laughs> in no, fairness, yes. Western. And yeah. and you and you know what? The first Star Wars, they were going almost that western angle. Mm-hmm. Uh, they tried it with Star Trek when the original series. Uh, came out they tried to do kind of like the western angle the thing is that they were very cerebral um mm-hmm. that was actually a complaint that they got a lot in the beginning that they were trying to tell stories and like really make you think about it and then they just let shatter shatner off the hook to be more of that wild character yeah. um but, but yeah they tried yeah. to do it shatner <laughs> that, that, was, that was the series out i mean Unforgiven. They, they, it was great Fantastic. as we go along. Gene Hackman. Silverado. Yes. Incredible one. Yes. yes. Outlaw Josie Wales. I love uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the trilogy, which is uh, Yo Piece's favorite. Um, Hell right. Yeah, Hell yeah. What's, what's the trilogy? Uh, uh, the Good, the Bad, the Ugly. A Few Dollars More and... Uh, a Few Dollars Fistful of Dollars. And Fistful, Fistful of Dollars, yeah. And Fistful. Yeah, that's yep. the trilogy. That's fantastic. Even that's the Quick trilogy, and the Dead. And the people don't even know it's a trilogy, which yeah. is uh, it's awesome. That's yeah. Yeah. Now, this is a good one because a lot of people go one way or the other. Oh. Uh, Tombstone or Wyatt Earp? Never heard of that. I go for Wyatt. Wyatt <laughs> wow, Earp. I would tell you to watch Tombstone. Like, I don't think you'd have the patience for Wyatt Earp. I, I, yeah. Wyatt Earp's more authentic to me. Yeah, but see that, that and that's it's just Kevin Cost. Ugh, that's Kevin. You don't know I mean like half of his movies, especially at that time, uh, and especially with Tombstone now. That's the hard thing is Tombstone's yeah, such did, a fast uh, pace. You know, that's who was. He did a great. That's who was a, a monumental. Wyatt. But Tombstone, I'll be your Huckleberry. So what do you what have you seen one? both the, Wyatt Earp and Tombstone? Mailman? Or have you only seen Tombstone? I think I've only seen Tombstone, but I, that's I honestly the easy couldn't one to watch. tell you I remember anything of it. Oh, uh, I mean, watch it again. Like a, yeah, that's I, well, yeah, because that's Val Kilmer. That's that's that's, <laughs> yeah, that's Val like, Kilmer. I put both of them already. I was like, <laughs> this ah, is yeah. what hurts. You had at the same time those two films came out pretty much very close to each other, right. and both uh, it was Dennis Quaid. Yeah, Dennis Quaid. Uh, and Val Kilmer, they each played in those films, Doc Holliday. And they both put on probably the best performances of their life. So it's so difficult for two uh, films that are very different telling yeah, the same story yeah. for both actors to put on incredible performances and yeah. differently. So that is where it gets hard to say who's Doc. And I'm yeah. always going to lean towards Val only because I just like, I was younger. The first time I saw Tombstone, probably in my teens or whatever. So for someone who's a little bit less appreciative of a Western tale, uh, Tombstone does a good job of giving you a Western tale, but giving you that that 
that um, oomph you need yeah. to, to to stay connected to the film. And Sam Elliott's in that one. I mean, oh, it's got a great uh, Billy Zane's in that one too. I mean, yeah. I, I just yeah. in all the different parts. Um, the the uh, from John Con. Oh, no, no, big, sorry, big Billy Zane. From what's his name from yeah. um from the first Terminator film and Aliens. Uh, uh, Bean. Michael Bean. Michael Bain, Yeah. Um, he's Bean incredible. You Ringo. Yeah. Like, he's what about Jan- Django's a great one? Django's a fantastic right. one. Oh, Django and Chain. Yeah. Oh, much oh, yeah, much yeah, better yeah. than Hateful Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Please check out our Tarantino. Tino episode yeah. <laughs> and our Nolan episode, but yeah, our Tarantino, we get into that because we're not like the, I, I enjoyed Hateful Eight, but it's the one Tarantino film that I probably can like not watch again. Like I've watched it a couple times <laughs> right. and it's not one I can watch, but like uh, once upon a how I watch over and over again, Django, yeah. I've seen multiple times. It is fantastic, you know, stories and, and Leonardo DiCaprio and Django's, I mean, oh, yeah. so villainous. Don, John, a lot of Don Johnson's great too. All, yeah, all, everyone, everyone in that everyone, film, everyone had their moment. Wait, but Susanna, Jamie, Jamie what, what do you typically watch? Like, you know, after we get done with these conventions and stuff, what, what is, what's your, what are you like, doing the plane ride home? Just sleep? No, I watch ID channel, the first 48. Oh yeah, she's like my wife. Yeah, yeah. she likes to. I like that. She likes to reality shows Law, and her. Law and order. Hey, to catch a smuggler. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, bro, yeah, 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 there's there's some connections to that, but yeah, yeah go ahead. What was that you? No, we found we found her niche. Yeah, her niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, yeah she's a serial yeah, killer in the yeah. making, and she's just figuring out how to get away with it. Actually, you're a sleuth. Please, please check yeah, yeah. out. Uh, please check out. If you go back on uh, on Hulu, check out Susanna's uh, episode of oh, uh, Prank the Panel. Prank, uh, yeah, yeah, prank yeah, Panel prank, prank with uh, Johnny Knoxville and Eric Andre, and you'll see she there's probably people close to her she wants to kill, and she's trying to figure out. And she's trying to know. She wants to know the ways to 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 smuggle out of the country. <laughs> move and get away with it and all the forensic stuff and, <laughs> and there will be, ca- the there will be casualties <laughs> yeah. there will be casualties just casualties if a, oh, if a bunch goodness. of hookers have started missing in yeah. LA yeah. Miami, Miami, you the, the Jawa Strangler oh, yeah. <laughs> that's Susanna Malik for real though like it was so yeah. funny because you you're like I don't care about the guy that fell out of this window I'm, yeah. what's up with this girl why is she in why here with my stuff <laughs> you hoe she's called her a hoe you hoe and she apologized Jason immediately for calling her. At least that's what editing made it look like. I don't know. I don't know how much long. I don't know. Like an hour. I know you did, but I don't know how fast it happened. Like, right away, like, I'm sorry for been calling been you a hoe. Remember that's season one, episode two, and it's the second prank on that episode. Yes, episode it's fantastic. It's, the best it's, prank. it's my it's the favorite best. one of all of them. We gotta show it. Don't like, watch it with the with the full stomach because you might puke. You just, oh, tomorrow. but Charles yeah. hasn't seen it. No, we gotta see it together. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show it. No, he's gonna watch in the car. He's gonna watch in the car now. Right after this, I'm gonna put it on the. I'm gonna put on the screen. So yeah, check that. So Emma. K will have a link here to there you Susanna go. stuff, but sure. up here, um, up here. So there you go. Can't go too low. It'll, it'll, it'll yeah, catch me true. out. Yeah. That's what I'm so, saying. He's got to go up here now. There you go. That's <laughs> a great note. So, but you know, that was the necessity for the episode because we're gonna start wrapping it up. And actually, believe it or not, go to prank panel. That's a different necessity of all time on this on this show. You will enjoy it. <laughs> yes, me. I crack up every time I watch it. It's herself, oh, yeah. and she's the one being uh, the she's the the, the victim. Yeah. <laughs> she's the victim of that First prank. First, I was the prank. Then I became the, the mark. Yeah. They it's like the same. Like it's like the same. Yeah. Mm. It's fantastic. Hey, you, have you watched it? No. Yeah. Your piece. Have you seen it yet? Oh, oh shit. Oh, nice. oh. So right after this, he's watching it too. And right. they're going to be Instagramming. He's going to be texting. Like, oh my God, that's it hilarious. Is no joke. I mean, it, it, they awesome. had me. And I, I'm usually on my P's and Q's and watch everything, whatever. And it literally went over my head. I I should have known he hadn't watched it because haunt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Earlier in the episode, I don't know what the first things he said. He went, oh, well, like I saw, I saw his face. And like, oh, if he had watched that, he would have been totally prepared for her. <laughs> and the best thing is she, she's a clown while going through Yes, this. that is. Oh, oh that's got, fantastic. Yeah, so, so what is your clown name? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then I gave her this We gotta come yeah. up with a clown yeah, name. Like shakes. like shakes, shakes. Remember Shakes the Clown? Yeah, one show. Back up. Popcorn, popcorn. It, it, it was funny seeing you running down the hallway in the clown outfit. You know what? Yeah. Believe it or not, when I was running down that hallway, in my head, in my head, I'm like, fucking get it together, get it together, bitch. Don't talk about it, no badass. And it'd be one yeah. short red nose bitch. Yes. There we go. That'll be <laughs> that's her clown name. There you go. <laughs> so uh, wrapping yeah. it up, uh, um, we'll probably have them on Skype again. Or the, the next time they're in town, we'll For do sure. stuff. It's a great group. We're having so much fun. Um, make sure again check out all their handles. So um, gonna go with that again. So Rory Ross, where can they find you? 
You can find me on all the socials at the Rory Ross. I got an Instagram X uh, as well as threads and then Facebook.com. Uh, Always love uh, hearing from the fans. And I'll, other thing, too, is we have a little uh, fundraiser that's going on. That's for the Iowa City Children's Hospital. That's where my Star Wars story began. So appreciate it. So uh, and also thank you for, for joining us. Uh, Stephen yes, Constantino, thank you. thank you for joining us. Where can they find you? Gamorian Sound, right? Well, you can StephenConstantino.org. There we go. Great website. Great then, music. Please check out his music. I'm not even kidding. So this is us hanging out. Doing. talking but yeah. great music uh it's Could it's good tell stuff yeah Costantino C O S T A N T I N O Costantino Costantino uh Steven yes please check out his music as well and of course he's the good morning guard and all that greatness and uh, thank you for joining us and You're of welcome. course also well for joining us Susanna Malik where can they find you I'm gonna let you say it because I said it a million times the one that I like you to get on is my Instagram and it's literally the numeric one Short bitch. Yes, you heard it right. One short bitch, because that's what I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. Uh, and that's your friend. And of course, uh, please like, follow, watch our previous episodes. Uh, you can get us at linktr.ee slash fancorrect. That's our link tree. That'll take you to all our episodes, all our um, social media, everywhere. everywhere, everything we got going on, appearances and uh, um, events with uh, Flint's Arcade and more and all that good stuff. Thank you, Charles, our good buddy out here who's helping yeah, out can I, can with I the give- group. If you need a haircut or a pressure wash. There you go. Under pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure. If you're in the Tampa, Tampa, Florida area, do it. He leave, he leave you. He, he could do both at the same time. It's very impressive. He cuts your hair with the pressure wash. Yeah. He's you, silly. You, silly. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for yes, having no, us. Yes, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it so much. You've been amazing, bro. Oh, you you got more, both yes, guys. Go one ahead. more shout out to uh, the UFC club. Y'all are great. Oh, uh, yeah. And Dave, he did the cryotherapy. Oh, man, Oof. the cryotherapy. Oh, man. I'm sure you guys have a clip of that. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to share that on We're our looking, Instagram. I got to get it from you because I used your well, phone. Well, actually, you oh, take, a, you take yeah, your yeah. shirt off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. He got into it. I was like, all right, two minutes. Below. Negative 165 degrees. I wasn't there to take my shirt off. We'll put you in the red zone. You guys are awesome. Seriously. Appreciate that. And to all of our friends and sponsors and friends of the show, New Era Economy Collectibles and Flynn's Arcade and more, of course always Eddie uh, helping us out um, and we have friends out in Central Florida that are fantastic uh, Acme Superstore 305 Comics uh, comic. check girls. them out they're fantastic they do Correct. stuff at Supercon they're doing stuff with the arcade now too in New Era we're doing a lot of things with uh, Leanna and Tina they're, they're beautiful great. women yeah. um, love y'all yes uh, we also got uh, Gods and Monsters famous and, and Faces uh, and Famous funny. Faces and Funnies Famous and Faces and Funnies too yeah. uh, that's in Boynton the other one's in Melbourne Acme Superstore in Longwood Superstore. Uh, uh, yep. Main Street Comics and Collect was there on Barto. We got friends everywhere now on uh, yeah. Tampa. We got Tampa here in the room with us. And Charles hanging out with us. <laughs> it's like so much more coming. So check out all your local cons, all your local events all the time. Check out everyone's handles. Thank you for listening. Thank and you for Mike, watching. Mike, can we thank you Yo, for peace. your, your you. service? Yes. Fighting fires, brother. Yes, yes. 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 You. You're the real hero, bro. <laughs> For real, man. That's the first no, thing you. MSK is editing it out. <laughs> okay. No, Yo, peace. Thanks for uh, handling things while I was setting everything up. I'll learn one day. I'll learn. This old man will learn one day. Just take pictures while you're here now. So Luckily, you I lucked out again. Steven, you know, Steven has right. the, the studio and he does music. And I think right. so he was able to get on there. Rory, a little familiar as well. Rory's so good, Rory. I lucked out. I lucked I'm out. I had some help. The day I got a complete uh, uh, use celebrity I'm on my own I'm gonna have to figure it out oh, yeah. fly solo <laughs> and I'm just gonna throw the stuff through the window nah kidding Kyla thank you so much and AV Club is a great time thank so you guys. Thank everybody watches thank you guys so thank much you. thank and you Charles Charles oh, there you go yeah, and then yeah, uh, signing Thank off, yo peace. Yo, peace. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I know he always has his clothes. He's the last one, so I'm gonna go. This is Omega saying peace. 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 Yo, peace. Heat us. There we go. And may the force be with you. Yes. And there you have it, folks. This has been fanatically correct. Until next time, you crazy kids. <laughs> Signing off. I got the power. Move. To the times of the beat. I got the power. I got the power. I don't need no coffee. I'm all natural over here, man. I took a shower. I I get that cold shower. Cold shower in the morning. I wake up real quick.